Hello YouTube. In this video, I am going to review a ported Chinese ROM called Yun ROM. So, if you go to the settings menu, about phone, you can find I am using Yun ROM, which is a uh, version 3.01. This is a firmware version, and other versions are here as well. Build number and kernel options. As I told you before, this is a Chinese ported ROM, so you can find some Chinese letters here and there. Except that. This ROM is very smooth, battery friendly, and uh, you'll love it. Uh, it's, more, it's it's kind of a MIUI ROM, but I think it's even better than that. Let's go and check out the ba basic things like for dialer and all. So this is the dialer. There is option working fine, and you get a record and other options as well. So this is feature rich phone, feature rich ROM. Sorry. And uh, here is a message, and you can find other options as well. Settings, message settings, and now you can find browser. This is a UC browser, Chinese version, I think. And the camera, camera is working fine. Camera is actually better than this talk Samsung camera, as I see. So this is a, a photo option. If I swipe uh, like this way, you get video option. Turn on the bright light and all. And then here's a short video option. And besides that, there is a QR scan and bar, bar and express scanning option is here. So that's this panorama mode. So all the functions are packed with this ROM. So camera application is pretty neat. And besides that, you can find the launcher. If I press and hold here. Here you can get the themes many themes you can choose from and this is store and this is local so you can uh, customize theme lock screen wallpaper font many things are there and uh, other options like uh, widgets you'll get from here and home shell settings and other system settings we'll come to that later uh, and uh, Okay, so that's it and if you swipe down the notification area, you'll get the notification here as well as your quick settings, you'll get all these options. You can add, by clicking more, you can add even more. It's pretty more like a new ROM itself. So you can see the data monitor here, on the notification bar itself, you'll get a date thing and then if you go to the settings menu you will get all the regular settings as you used to get display options you'll get all the display of settings sound security and privacy you can set the lock screen okay we're talking about the lock screen so this is the lock screen it looks pretty neat and clean you can see the time and date as well and you'll get the weather notification as well if you want to turn on the camera, you can uh, directly turn on the camera by swiping here. Swipe down, it will turn on the lock screen. So that is it. Search options, notification bar, customization, location based settings, account settings, cloud services, storage options, battery options is here. I can, if I want to see the battery percentage, I can click on that one. It will show the battery percentage. I can see the battery usage and all. System updates. So for the OT updates, you get this one. App management. The identity option. Local language and input. If I click on the language option, I can see almost uh, also only uh, this language is there. So language is pretty limited. If you got the more settings, you can even turn on the develop mode. Okay, so that's the thing about settings and all. If you look at the other aspects, you can see photo, that is gallery app. And then contacts, we saw that one. Music app is there. You can see some Chinese letters are showing here and there. You, to, you can use any other music player, no problem. So this is the stock one. And then here is the application I mean app map market so from there you can download all the almost all the applications from 
and teams actually all of these get the games. Okay, except the games. Okay, we'll get the games as well. Video, video player. This is the video player. And then weather options, email, so I can configure Gmail and uh, almost all the things. This is the calendar app. Maps, that is Google Maps I think. Let's see some other map, you can download Google Maps anyway. Security options are here. Just like uh, you used to see in Mi Rom. Clock, notes. Other tools options. Compass, file manager, forum, user feed, calculator, record, voice record. Then settings you already discussed. That's it. So for me, this ROM. Okay, I'll show you the task manager. So this is the task manager. You can find running apps and occupied memory. So if I want to boost, so it will boost the RAM and, and then clear the RAM. So this is the clock and weather widgets. So for me, this is a pretty solid and smooth ROM. If you are interested in a movie ROM and all, you can try this one also. That's it. If you want to know how to install this ROM, there is a link in the description. I'll show you that. Just go and check it out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.